Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are diving into one of the hottest open source productivity tools out there, which is AppFlowy. So if you've ever wished for a free privacy focused alternative to Notion, you've probably heard of this one. But the big question is, is AppFlowy really worth switching to? We will break it all down, the pros, the cons, and even the best alternatives you can try if app flow it doesn't quite fit your workflow. So whether you're a student, a project manager, or maybe someone trying to organize your digital life, stick around because this video will help you decide if app flow is the right tool for you. Let's begin. App flow is an open source workspace and productivity platform. So it's described as an open source alternative to Notion, which is a really good tool for notes, wikis, docs, project and task management. But App Flowy gives you a stronger control over data, privacy and extensibility. Because the project is always built with a Flutter for a cross-platform UI and Rust for performance and backend components. Now if you go to the official website of App Flowy and you go to the pricing plans, you would easily notice that they offer two subscription plans for you. Number one is going to be the app of Lovi Cloud, which starts around for a free trial and the pro subscription, which is around $10 per month. And you get to have all these unlimited storage until custom namespace. That is for the app of Lovi Cloud. However, if you wanted to go for the self-hosted, as you may notice, you would have all these seed, one team and enterprise custom but the good thing about app flow is that it offers a free trial if you click the start for free option here what will happen is you will be forwarded to this section creating an account here in app flow is a breeze because all you have to do is provide some information like your personal or business email or if you want you can use your google or apple or you can also go to the download section if you prefer an application for Mac OS and Windows and Linux. Or if you want, you can also download the iOS and Android version if you're always on the go. But needless to say, and then you will be forwarded to the platform itself. And as you may notice, App of Flowy is very clean, straightforward, and it's very functional. Right here. So on the left side panel of our oh, dashboard, you have all of the features that you can use. It's very user-friendly because you have the workspace here there is like a gear icon where you can toggle all of the settings and if you wanted to put in your account profile workspaces members manage data notifications cloud settings and a lot more so you can basically build around uh, this section so you have more control my favorite is going to be the ai setting wherein if you wanted to use the ai to make your workflow seamless you can have a language model type wherein you can use an auto to select the best model or you can use from gpt5 gpt5 mini gpt40 mini and gemini 2.5 pro and gemini 2.5 flash so you have all these now these sites gives you all the section right here if you want to create your namespace you have the ability to do that in this case we can add a cover if you want and then click on the change cover you can upload your own logo we're going to choose a different color maybe um i'll olive and then click the upload button you can embed a link on splash if you don't have any photo but right now i'm going to use my own logo or our logo for our channel and click the browse so i'm going to use that and once i'm happy with it you see there is like a section here and then the general gives you the ability to create a new page if you want all right but we already have done that if you created the page by accident you have the ability to duplicate change icon rename and of course move to to a different um section but for now i'm going to delete that because i've created something from by accident and the getting started if you want to create um like a desktop guide a mobile guide web guide it's up to you all right now, the good thing about App of Flow is really best for a collaborative environment, especially if you're working with your team members or maybe with your client or your organization. You can share this by inviting their email address and you can choose the access if you want like a full access, 
editor or viewer only. You can also publish that. You can create a website with App Flow or App Flowy. As you may notice, you will be if you click the publish, you will be forwarded to a new page to the uh, web editor. However, that's only applicable if you have if you click the uh, visit website. As you can see, you will be forwarded here. Now, to unlock all the features, I highly suggest you go to the premium plan so you can use all the tools and exhaust all the features here in app flowy but if you are just using the um free trial the options is kind of like limited okay the three dots give you an option for the light mode or for the dark mode it's up to you that's like a personal preferences we're gonna go back to the app itself because as you may notice you can choose the font size if you want lock page duplicate so that one of the team members is not going to be able to do anything from it. If you don't want some changes, if you want to just to do it, just to uh, let the other um, collaborators see it, you can do that. And the good thing about um, App Flow is that you can export this as an HTML. You can create a markdown or a copy to clipboard. So you have so many options. So copy into clipboard is if you wanted to export this and embed this to your website for example if you are working in a squarespace or wordpress okay so the team space if you have one if you want to share this to your team members everyone with the link you can do that and of course the to do section here is something that you might want to create later on if you get to know more about the uh, if you get used to working with uh, app flow and again remember if you are have multiple pages here in app flowy all that for do is use the search button so it's a lot easier to search for example this one right here okay now that you have seen the um, platform in action you see that it's very intuitive you can tell it's easy to navigate with virtually no learning curve now my suggestion is if you'd like to explore further you can check authentic user reviews detailed feedback pricing information and potential alternatives to app flowy you can visit trusted software review platforms like here in captera and g2.com these sites provide valuable insights from real users helping you make a well-informed decision that fits your specific needs and budget and with that being said if you love the flexibility and layout of notion but want more privacy offline capability and complete data ownership App Flowy is absolutely worth trying. It's perfect for developers, privacy-focused users, and anyone who likes to customize every part of their workspace. However, keep in mind, since it's still evolving, you might run into missing features like occasional bugs or limited integrations compared to more mature tools like Notion, ClickUp, or Obsidian. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more deep dive comparisons like this one. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.